Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Hola, pueden escucharme. Good evening, teacher. Okay, good evening. Good Thank teacher. you. Thank you very much. Okay, let's begin. Um, just let me go full screen so we can begin. Okay, as usual, I'm going to call the attendance first. So when you hear your name, please let me know you're here. Alejandra Cristina Magaña Campos. Alejandra Cristina Magaña Campos. Present. Thank you. Astrid Michelle Flores Escobar. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alfredo Ramos Aguila. Present. Thank you. Claudia Yanet Iraeta Martinez. Present. Thank you. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Thank you. Good evening. Sorry. Good evening. Gabriela Stephanie Cortez de Martinez. Gabriela Stephanie Cortez de Martinez. Gladys Imelda Sánchez. Gladys Imelda Sánchez. Yasmín Vanessa Sosa Juárez. Yasmín Vanessa Sosa Juárez. José Luis Hernández Flores. Present. Thank you. Josué Isaías Najarro. Josué Isaías Najarro Martínez. Lilian Estela Portillo García. Lilian Estela Portillo García. Luis Fernando Enrique Herrera. Luis Fernando Enrique Herrera. Manuel Aristides Murcia. Manuel Aristides Murcia. Present. Thank you. Olivia Emanuel Osorio Panameño. Uh, ah, yeah. Present teacher. Thank you. Paola Maria Alvarado Cerón. Present. Thank you. Rosa Esmeralda Hernández de Flores. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Sandra Cecilia Munguía. Thank you. Walter René Quintanilla González. Present. Thank you. Jenny Maritza Sanchez Flores. Present, teacher. Thank you. Once again, I'm calling some names. Gabriela Stephanie Cortez de Martinez. Gabriela Stephanie. I have a chat entry here. Josué Isaías, mi micrófono no funciona. Ok, vamos a colocar entonces attendance. Thank you, Josué Isaías. Gladys Imelda Sánchez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Yasmín Vanessa Sosa. Yasmín Vanessa Sosa Juárez. Lilian Estela Portillo García. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luis Fernando Enrique Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, let's begin. Everybody, take a look. Um, this is uh, Inglés Preavanzado. Preavanzado, I'm sorry, Modulo 2. And that's me, Ivan Doñang, at your service once again. And this is session 14. So we have today's session, tomorrow's session, and then Thursday, and we finish the level. Today is February the 7th, 2023, or 2023. Uh, whichever you prefer. So let's begin. What are we going to do today? First, we're going to have a review on the grammar contents from yesterday. So let's take a look. 
Este es un repaso, okay? This is just a review. So we have for, during, and while. First, let's remember how to use for and during. We use, and I'm going to zoom in, we use for plus a period of time to say how long something goes on. You can say for two hours, for a week, for ages, for, you know, three months, for seven years, et cetera, et cetera. So when you have a period of time, then you have to use the preposition for, okay? And we have some examples. We watched TV for two hours last night. Jessica is going away for a week in September. Where have you been? I've been waiting for ages. Again, remember that when you say for ages, it's an exaggeration. You don't have to take it literally. And the last one, are you going away for the weekend? The weekend being a period of time of two days. Now, uh, we use during plus a noun. Okay, this is a bit different. You use during plus a noun to say when something happens and not how long. Okay, so you have to be careful. You say during the movie, during our vacation, during the night, during the class, during the meeting, during the day, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So remember, you use during plus a noun, not a period of time. It's with a noun. And you have three examples. I fell asleep during the movie, as you can see here, right? So in. I fell asleep during the movie. That happens. The next one is we met some really nice people during our vacation. During our vacation. The ground is wet. It must have rained during the night. So careful. You don't say for the movie. No. You don't say for, the vac for our vacation. Mm -mm. That will be incorrect. You don't say for the night. No. You say during the movie, during our vacation, during the night. That's the correct form. Again, this is just a review from uh, yesterday's class. The second part is for and during, again, with time where it's, for example, the morning, the afternoon, the summer, you can usually say in or during. So an alternative to during is in, but only when you're using time where it's like in the morning, in the afternoon, in the summer, in the evening, in the winter, etc. And you have some examples. It must have rained in the night. You can also say it must have rained during the night. I'll call you sometime during the afternoon. You can also say I'll call you sometime in the afternoon. Now, remember, you cannot use during to say how long something goes on. If you want to express how long something goes on, you have to use the preposition for, okay, but not during. Example, it rained for three days without stopping. Three days is a period of time, one, two, three days. So you say for three days. You never say it rained during three days. That will be incorrect, okay? Careful. Now compare during and for. I fell asleep during the movie. I was asleep for half an hour. So during the movie is a noun phrase. You have the movie. Half an hour is a, it's a period of time. So you use the preposition for. Careful there. Nothing new. Now during and while. Let's continue. We use during plus a noun like this. I fell asleep during the movie. But what about this? We use while with a subject and the verb. Very important. Example, I fell asleep while I was watching TV. Okay. Now you use while here plus a subject. The subject is I and the verb was watching. Mm -hmm. Second example, during plus a noun, we met a lot of interesting people during our vacation. During and then a noun or a noun phrase in this case, our vacation. What about while plus subject and verb? We met a lot of interesting people while we were on vacation. It changes here because we have the subject we and we have the verb where. So you have to use while. Third example, Robert suddenly began to feel sick during the exam. Robert suddenly began to feel sick while he was doing the exam. Okay, two different things. 
All right. Take a look. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, thank you. I just got a message on the screen that uh, the connection was lost for a second, but it seems to be okay. Thank you. Uh, some more examples of while. Take a look. We saw Claire while we were waiting for the bus. While you were out, there was a phone call for you. And Alex read a book while I watched TV. Like the picture. Now, when you're talking about the future, you have to use the present, not will after while, like this. I'm going to Singapore next week. I hope to see some friends of mine while I'm there. And you don't say while I will be there. That will be a mistake. And what are you going to do while you're waiting? Okay. And you don't say while you will be waiting. That will be incorrect. So that was the review. Okay, and yesterday we did some exercises. We completed some, some um, items on it. Today, there's a new piece of grammar. Take a look. In. So how do you use in? Well, we use in for periods of time. Let me highlight the word in. I forgot. Mm -hmm. Okay, we use in for periods of time especially when they take a long time. For example, in June, in 2012, in the 1990s, in the 20th century, in the past, in winter, in the summer, etc. We also say in the mornings, in the morning or in the mornings, in the afternoon or in the afternoons, in the evening or in the evenings. But, and here's where you have to be very careful, if you mention the specific day, you'll have to use the preposition on. On Friday mornings, on Sunday afternoon, on Monday evening, okay? If you just say the morning, you say in the morning. But if you say the day, on Friday morning, on Wednesday mornings, on Sunday mornings, etc. Examples. I will see you in the mornings. I will see you on Friday morning. Do you work in the evenings? Do you work on Saturday evenings? Do you understand the difference? Okay. All right, Lillian. Okay, to understand well, mm -hmm. you use in in a specific period of time during that day, when you but you use on when you are talking about a whole day. When you mention a specific day. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's when you use on. Now, you can say in the morning, that will mean today in the morning, or you can also use it in plural, in the mornings, that means every morning. The same thing happens with in the afternoon. If you say just in the afternoon, that means today in the afternoon. But if you use it in plural, in the afternoons, that means every afternoon. The same thing happens in the evening, that means tonight or in the evenings, that means every evening. But then when you mention specifically the day, Friday, Sunday, Monday, et cetera, et cetera, then you use the preposition on. That's when it changes. Now, we say that something will happen in a few minutes, in six months, et cetera. And there are three examples. Who can help me read them, please? Can you that? Okay, Lillian. Thank you, Lillian. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay. okay. The, the train will be leaving in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. That means a few minutes from now. Mm -hmm. uh, Andy has gone away. He'll be back in a week. He will be back in a week. That means a week from now. And? Huh? 
they will be here in a moment. That mm -hmm. means from now, very soon. A moment from now, very soon. Okay, correct. For example, right now it's 8.15, 8.14, let's say 8.15. The class finishes. When does the class finish? If you want to mention minutes. 14 minutes. 40 minutes. Uh, five more minutes, please. <laughs> That will be in 45 minutes, right? Okay, yeah. So you say, for example, the class will finish in 45 minutes. That means 45 minutes from now. Thank you. Now, we also use in to say how long it takes to do something. Example, I learned to drive in four weeks. Aprendí a manejar en cuatro semanas, okay? You can also use it to say how long it takes to do something. ¿Cuánto tiempo toma hacer algo? I learned to drive in four weeks. I remember I learned to drive like in two weeks, I guess. I remember something like that. I learned to drive in two weeks. There you go. So it took me four weeks to learn. So what about the rest of you? Can, can somebody tell me how long did it take you to learn to drive? In my case, I learned to drive in two weeks. How about you? ¿Quién nos comparte ahí su experiencia? OK. Nadie quiere participar. Sigamos entonces. For and since. We use for and since to say how long. Very important. Take a look. Now, Rachel is in Brazil. She has been there for three days. Or you can say, Rachel is in Brazil. She has been there since Monday. Okay, very important. Again, we use for and since to say how long something happens. Now, how, does, how do you use it? Oops. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to appear. Well, what happened? Anyway, we use four plus a period of time, as we have studied before, for three days, for two years, etc. And we use since plus the start of the period of time, Monday, nine, etc. Examples of four, you say for three days, for an hour, for a week, for a month, for five years, for 10 minutes, for two hours, for four weeks, for six months, for a long time. You don't need to be very specific. You can just say for a long time. What about some examples with since? You can say since Monday, since nine, since July 4th, since January, since 2000, since Wednesday, since 12.30, since my birthday, since I was 10 years old, since we arrived, okay? So what's the difference? You use for with a period of time and you use since when you want to mention the beginning of the period of time, okay? That's it. Some examples using four. Um, give me a second. Okay, yeah. David has been in Canada for six months. Okay. David has been in Canada for six months. What is that? Or David has been in Canada since January. That means in January he arrived and then he has been there all this time. You use since. Second example, we have been waiting for two hours, four and then two hours, that's a period of time. We've been waiting since nine, desde las nueve. That's the beginning of the period of time. And the next one, I have lived in Chicago for a long time. I have lived in Chicago since I was 10 years old. 
Ese es el principio de ese periodo de tiempo. I have lived in Chicago since I was 10 years old. Before we continue, do you have any questions about the use of for and since? Probably not. Okay. Okay, good. Let's continue then. What about ago? Sorry, there are mosquitoes here. Ago means before now. Some examples. Ah, by the way, you use ago only with the past. Okay, so remember that. Anna started her new job three weeks ago. Hace tres semanas. Three weeks ago. That means three weeks before now. Sorry. When did Tom leave? Ten minutes ago. That means 10 minutes before now. I had dinner an hour ago. Like me. Yeah, I also had dinner an hour ago. An hour and a half ago. And the last one. Life was very different a hundred years ago. La vida era muy diferente hace 100 años. Now, something to know and to keep in mind is that you have to use a go only with the past, okay? Not with present perfect. You use it with past simple, okay? And you have two examples. When did Rachel arrive in Brazil? When? She arrived in Brazil three days ago. You use it with past simple. But what happens when you have the present perfect? How long has she been in Brazil? When you have the present perfect, you have to use for or since, but never ago. Okay, remember that. She has been in Brazil for three days. Or she has been in Brazil since Sunday, for example. So again, you use ago with the past simple. We use for or since with the present perfect. Before we continue, because there's an exercise. No, there's still some explanation, actually. Um, do you have any questions? No. No questions. OK. All right. Finally, we have from, to, and since. We use from and to to signal the beginning and the end of a period of time, okay? If you only want to talk about the beginning, you use since. But if you want to mention the beginning and the end, you have to use from and to, okay? Examples, we lived in Japan from 2007 to 2014. Now, if you notice, they mentioned the beginning of the period of time, which is 2007, and they mentioned the end of the period of time, which is 2014. So if that's the case, you have to use from and to. We lived in Japan from 2007 to 2014. Another example, I work from Monday to Friday, okay? You mentioned the beginning of the period of time, which is Monday. You mentioned the ending of the period of time, which is Friday. So I work from Monday to Friday, from to, okay? You can also say from and until, it's possible. Examples, we lived in Japan from 2007 until 2014, it's possible. We lived in Japan until 2014, okay? From and to are more common than saying uh, from and until, okay? But it is also possible to say from and until. Now, we use since plus a time in the past to now. We use since after the present perfect. We lived in Japan from 2007 to 2014. We lived in Japan until 2014. Vivimos en Japón hasta el 2014. Y de ahí nos fuimos. Now we live in Denver. We came to Denver in 2014. So we have lived in Denver since 2014. That means from 2014 until now. Before we do the exercises, do you have any questions?
No questions? Okay. We're going to do the exercises then. Now, what are we going to do? I want you to, you're going to work in breakout rooms. Okay, let's see. Just let me organize them. I want to sneeze. Give me just a second. Thank you. Okay. Uh, breakout rooms, I'm going to organize them. Okay, you'll be working in groups of four people and one group of three, no, two groups of three. So um, everybody, uh, let's listen. In room number one, you have Josue Isaias, Lilian Estela, Manuel Aristides, and Rosa Esmeralda. Room two, Alejandra Magaña, Sandra Cecilia Munguia, Walter René Quintanilla, and Jenny Sanchez. Room three, Carlos Alfredo Ramos, Claudia Yanet Iraeta, Ever de Jesús Candray, and Yasmín Vanessa Sosa. Room four, Jose Luis Hernández, Luis Fernando Enríquez, and Olivia Osorio. In room five, Astrid Michelle Flores, Gladys Imelda Sánchez, and Paola Maria Alvarado Cerón. So I'm going to open the breakout rooms, and uh, but first I need to explain what we're going to do. Take a look. From two and since. Well, actually, not from two and since. I'm going to delete this because it's not necessary. Read the information and complete the sentences. Just let me move the elements so that it looks a little bit better. Okay, yeah, that looks better. Okay, so read the information and complete the sentences. You have to use from, to, until, and since. I'm going to highlight it just to make it better. Just a second. Okay, yeah, that looks better. Okay, so please read the information and complete the sentences. You have to use from and to, until and since. Now, you have to read what they say. For example, Alex, Alex says, I live in Japan now. I lived in Canada before. I came to Japan in 2013. So what do you have? Alex, Canada, 2005. 2013. So Alex lived in Canada from 2005 to 2013. So you have to make sentences based on the information they give. You have to use from and to. In some cases, you will say you will use until. In some other cases, since. So I'm going to open the breakout rooms now. Please, everybody, join your room. And I'm going to send this image via WhatsApp, okay, because I cannot visit the breakout rooms and uh, share the screen at the same time. So, just a moment. Okay, everybody, join your breaker rooms now, please. Everybody, please join your breaker rooms. Por favor, unámonos todos a los breakout rooms. Okay, everybody, I just sent you the picture via WhatsApp. Please check it out. I'm going to start visiting the breakout rooms. 
Una indicación para todos, acuérdense que el objetivo de los breakout rooms es la comunicación, ¿de acuerdo? Por lo tanto, por favor, les pido que participen y colaboren con sus compañeros. No solo se le queden viendo a uno o dos que están haciendo el trabajo, por favor comuníquense, ¿de acuerdo? Number two. Number What do you two. Think? Yeah. Alex live in Canada. Things. Let me turn. Let's see. Alex says, I live in Japan now. I lived in Canada before. I came to Japan in 2013. So Alex, Canada, 2013. Alex lived in Canada. Until? Until 2013. That's correct. Vivió en Canadá hasta oh. el 2013. De ahí se fue para Japón. Okay. okay. Then he went to Japan. That's right. What about the next one? Number two until. I live in Australia now. Um, but what about number three? Number three Alex, is about Alex. Alex, Japan. 2013. Oh, uh, since mm -hmm. Alex has lived has in, lived Japan. in Japan. Uh -huh. Since since since. 2013. Yeah, Alex has lived in Japan since 2013. Okay, yeah, that is good. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go into a different room now. See you in a few minutes. Beth has Beth. worked a hotel. In a hotel. Uh, hotel. Uh, Sing. 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 Ah. Yes, sings. Twenty sixteen. Yes. Alan, Alan was a teacher. Was a teacher. Alan was From. a teacher. From mm -hmm. 26 to 2012. Yes. 2000, 2006. Oh, perdón. 2006. <laughs> okay. Alan has been a journalist. A journalist. 26. 2012. Okay, I see you're doing very well. I have to go visit some other rooms. I'll be back. Mm. Uh and seven, I bet. That has worked. In my life, I love myself. Don't eat too much. Uh, where are you exactly? Number seven? Yes, number seven, teacher. Okay, okay. Let's do number seven. It has worked a uh, hotel until 2016. Um, until 2016. No, not really. 
Or maybe teacher mm -hmm. uh, since you can. Since 2016 is better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Ben, Beth has worked in a hotel since 2016. Desde el 2016. Okay. All right. Please continue. I have to go visit another breakout room. I'll be back. Since 20, 2015. 2016, yes. Adam. I'm a journalist now. I was teacher before. I started work as journalist in 2012. Adam was a teacher. Adam. Uh, here we have two uh, dates. <laughs> I, I don't know how to say fetches. When, <laughs> you can say when, two dates, but in this case, we have two years. Ah, uh, two years. Mm -hmm. and then I think uh, he, we have to use from and to. Mm -hmm. Yes, from uh, 20. You can say uh, 2006. 2006 to mm -hmm. 2012. Mm -hmm. To 2012 or 2012. So Adam was a teacher from 2006 to 2012. Okay. okay. All right. Please continue. I have to go visit another breaker room. Okay. I'll be back. Sure. Hello, ladies. Have you finished? Yes. Okay, can you help me with number nine? What did you write it or what did you, how did you answer number 10? Number nine, I'm sorry. Adam has been a journalist since 2012. Yeah, Adam has been a journalist since 2012, okay. Very good. I'm going to close the breakout rooms for now because you have to work on them again. Um, I'll be back, okay? Okay, everybody, I'm going to close the breakout rooms for a moment because we have to go back to them in a few minutes. So we're just going to check the, uh, the answers and after that you're going back to you know, working with the same people. So I'll, I'm, I'm going to close the breakout rooms right now. I'll see you in one minute. Forty-five seconds. Thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds. Okay. All right, everybody. Um, 
Alex, what does Alex say? I live in Japan now. I lived in Canada before I came to Japan in 2013. So the first one is Alex, sorry, lived in Canada from 2005 to 2013. What about number two? I need a volunteer. Who can help me, please? Who wants to participate? La número dos, ¿quién se ayuda, por favor? Con la, ¿quién, ¿Quién se anima, perdón, a ayudarnos con la número dos? Josué Isaías, thank you very much. Uh, Alex lived in, in Canada until uh, 2013. Until 2013. Just a moment. Yeah. Alex lived in Canada until 2013. That is correct. Very good. Thank you, Josue Isaias. Number three, who wants to give it a try, please? Walter René. Okay. Alex has lived in Japan since 2013. Alex, oops. What's going on? Ah, sorry. I was in the wrong window. Yeah, Alex has lived in Japan since 2013. That is correct. Thank you, Walter. Alejandra, number four. Let's read uh, Megan's speech bubble. Megan says, I live in Australia now. I lived in South Korea before. I came to Australia in 2015. So um, Alejandra, please, number four. Megan lived in South Korea until 2015. That's correct. Megan lived in South Korea until 2015. Thank you very much, Alejandra. That is correct. What about number five? Who wants to try number five? Please raise your hand, your you know virtual hand. Astrid Michelle, please. Megan has lived in Australia since 2015. Megan has lived in Australia since 2015. That is correct. Thank you, Astrid. Very good. Number six. Who wants to try? Volunteer, please. Who wants to give it a try? It's easy. Jenny Sanchez. Beth worked in a restaurant from 20. 2014 mm -hmm. to 2016. That is correct. Beth worked in the restaurant from 2014 to 2016. Very good. Thank you, Jenny. Number seven. Who wants to try? Number seven. Paola Maria. Beth has worked in a hotel since 2016. That is correct. Ben has worked in a hotel since 2016. Very good. Thank you, Paola. That's correct. Number eight. Who wants to try number eight? Please. Let's participate. Participemos. No nos quedemos así. Ever de Jesús. Let's do it. Number eight. Yes. Okay. Adam was a teacher from 2006 to 2012. Adam was a teacher from 2006 to 2012 or 2012. Correct. Very good, Ever. Thank you very much. Number nine, the last one. Who wants to try? Please. Number nine. Jose Luis. Adam has been a journalist since 2012. Adam has been a journalist since 2012 or 2012. Very good. Okay, great. Now you're going to go back to the breakout rooms because we have an exercise right here. Again, it's the same information, but now write sentences with four. All the sentences will be with the word for. So just let me see. Yeah, okay. 
Everybody, please, I'm going to open the breakout rooms again with the same people. Okay, join the breakout rooms and write the sentences. There's an example. Alex, Canada. Alex lived in Canada for eight years. Pero que tienen que hacer acá? Tienen que tomar el tiempo real, ¿verdad? Según lo que dicen ellos. No puede ser cualquier número. Tienen que decirme un número específico. So, uh, I'm going to open the breakout rooms again and uh, everybody, please join your room. I'm going to send this to you via WhatsApp right now. Please, everybody, join your breakout room. Okay, you have the exercise on WhatsApp now. You can check it there. I'm going to start visiting the breakout rooms. Um, I, uh, I live in Canada. It really is 2023. Uh, uh, the the what the field I live in, in Canada. No, no. I like I I had living in Japan. Uh, for. We only use um, four. Mm -hmm. Only four. And uh, then uh, Alex has lived in Japan for 10 years. Mm -hmm. That's right. Alex has because... lived in Japan for 10 years. Yeah. 10 years. 10 years. Four, 10 years. Mm hmm. And uh, entry number three, Lillian, what do you think? <laughs> Lillian? Yeah, okay. I, I, I have problem with my, my inter, sorry. Okay, no problem. Okay, please continue working. I have to go visit some other breaker rooms. Okay. Okay. Uh, working hotel now. Teacher. <laughs> yes. Teacher, a question. Yes. In the in the case of Beth work mm -hmm. in a restaurant, mm -hmm. in this picture don't uh, don't have a a time specific. Let's see. Let Only me check. Say, I work in a restaurant before. Um. Can you uh, just give me one second, please? Just, just give me a second. I'll be back. Okay. Okay.
Okay, I'm sorry, I'm back. Okay, let me check that. Uh, which one were you asking? Uh, number four. four. Number four. Let me check. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Ah. Yeah, it's true. We don't have a time frame here. Beth, yes. a restaurant. Let's see. I work in a hotel now. I worked in a restaurant before. Okay, I started. Mm -hmm. okay, well, in, in number four, you can use you can use any number you want if you. No problem. Oh, okay. Uh huh. I'm sorry. There, there is there isn't a time frame right there. Let me check. Maybe I made a mistake when I was doing this. Okay. Just, um, I'm going to check right now. Okay, just a moment. Here's the one. Or maybe I, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry about that one. You can you can write whatever number you want. Okay. Okay, I'm going to visit a different breakout room now. If you give me just a moment. Have you finished the exercise? Hello? No, teacher. Okay. Australian with your microphone. Ah, yeah. Okay. Do you have any questions about this? Okay, I'm going to go visit another breakout room then. Una pequeña aclaración. Aquí algo que me hizo falta a mí, una equivocación. Hay que tomar en cuenta las respuestas del ejercicio anterior para este. Entonces, les voy a mandar por medio de WhatsApp eh, las respuestas del ejercicio anterior para que puedan resolver este con mayor facilidad. Porque ahí aparece cierta información que es clave para el ejercicio. Thank you.
then uh, uh, let's let's ask to the teacher. <laughs> uh -huh. What's your question? Uh, the last one. Uh, uh, we have to complete the complete sentence using uh, what what tense of the verb? Uh, present perfect. Always. Okay. Mm -hmm. In this case, in number seven, because um, he says, I started work as a journalist in 2012. So that means that right now he is still a journalist. That means this is an action that started in the past and continues up to the present. So when that happens, you have to use the present perfect tense. Okay, uh, and then we, we can use the structure for uh, uh, number five too. Number five. Yes, yes. that is correct. Yes. That is yes. Okay. That is correct. Okay, that, that was the only question that was said. Okay, so what are you having number five? Number five is uh, Beth. Mm -hmm. So uh, Beth, uh -huh. Beth has been working in auto. Has worked. For 10 years. Has worked. Uh -huh. Has worked. Only has worked. Only has okay. worked, yeah. Has worked in a hotel for seven years. Has worked in a hotel for seven years. That's correct. Okay, very good. Okay, I'm going to visit the final breakout room now. Wow, there's a big insect here in my house. <laughs> big scary insect. Sorry. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to visit the final breakout room. Thank you. Hello, ladies, have you finished? Finished. Okay, uh, did you use the information I sent via WhatsApp? Because I sent some extra information. Hello? Yes. Okay, great. So if that's the case, I'm going to close the breakout rooms now so we can check the exercise. I'm sorry, there's a really big scary insect here in my house. Looks horrible, <laughs> scaring me. Okay. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, it's it's right there. It's like this big. <laughs> I don't even know what oh, the name okay. in Spanish is. It's a, uh, I think it's a prawn. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to close the break of rooms and see you in one minute. Okay, everybody, I'm going to close the breakout rooms now. See you in one minute. Eleven seconds. Okay, everybody, if you can see the screen. Um, una disculpa para hacer este ejercicio hacía falta la información del ejercicio anterior. Por ahí me caí en cuenta cuando me hicieron una pregunta en uno de los grupos. Me di cuenta que no había incluido eso y por lo tanto había una confusión. Okay, so what are we going to do? Write sentences with four, okay? 
Alex, Canada. Alex lived in Canada for eight years because as you can see here, number one, I'm going to just make it a little bit longer for you to see. Alex, Canada. Lived in Canada from 2005 to 2013. That means eight years. What about number two? Alex, Japan. Also Isaias. Alex has lived in Japan for 10 years. Alex has lived in Japan for 10 years. That is correct. Very good. Thank you, Jose. Number four, Megan, Australia. Paola Maria. Megan has lived in Australia for eight years. That is correct. Megan has lived in Australia for eight years. Very good. Number four, who wants to try? Beth, a restaurant. Esta era la que causaba dificultad. <laughs> I'm sorry, you have to base it on number six right here. Beth, a restaurant 2014. Oh, sorry. It was a big, scary insect. Did you see that? Did you see did you see the insect flying right in front of me? It's a big uh, insect. Um, I don't know. I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere in here and it's scaring me. Okay. I, I just want to finish the class so I can I can crush it. <laughs> it's it's really big. It's this big. You see, like this big. Wow. Okay, anyway. So number four, what do you have? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Who can help me? Ayúdenme para que pueda ponerle el zapato de insecto ya pronto. Okay, Lilian Estela, number four, please. Beth worked in a restaurant for two years. Beth worked in a restaurant for two years. That is correct. Thank you, Lilian. Ever de Jesús. Number five. Number five, Beth. Okay. okay. And Beth has worked in a hotel for 10 years. I'm sorry? Beth has worked in a hotel for seven years. Beth has worked in a hotel for seven years. That's correct. Very good. Thank you. Um, who wants to help me with number six? Adam, a teacher. Adam has teacher has been a teacher. Sorry, was a teacher. Has was been. a teacher. Uh, Adam has been. Adam was a teacher. Sorry. Uh, Adam uh, was uh, was Adam a teacher. Was a teacher. Mm -hmm. Uh. In, uh, mm. Remember to use oh. for. In all the sentences, you have to use for. Uh, what teacher? For. Six. Yeah. For six years. That's correct. Adam was a teacher for six years. Thank you, Rosa. And the last one, Adam, a journalist. Gladys. Adam was a journalist for, I don't know how much year. <laughs> okay, if you notice, Alan has been a journalist since 2012. So you have to use present perfect. And now we are in 2023. So, oh well, Adam has been, has been a journalist. Has been a journalist. Or, has been a journalist. Or to start. Okay. Uh huh. Who has the answer? Adam has been. Uh. Uh, journalist. Mm -hmm. A journalist. Science. No, not not since. 
All of them use the preposition for. Uh, generally mm -hmm. for, for one year. For one year, no, no. Yeah. Comenzó uh, en 2012 11, y estamos, aha, 11 years, that's more like it. So uh, Adam has been a journalist for 11 years. Carlos Alfredo? The dancer are going, uh, I, I am. They, they said I it already. Going to... <laughs> okay, sorry, <laughs> but yeah. They took it from you. Adam has been a journalist for 11 years. That's right. Okay. All right, everybody. I'm just going to call the attendance just to end the class. Let's see. Gabriela Stephanie Cortez de Martinez. Are you here? Gabriela Stephanie Cortez de Martinez. No. Jasmine Vanessa Sosa Juarez. Here, teacher. Thank you. And that's it. Ahí está todo. Okay, everybody, thank you very much. Now I have to go hunt a bug right here. Um, thank you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.